The Youth Empowerment for Success, Yes, Si Se Puede program is a program to promote academic success and healthy lifestyles for a group of 34 at-risk Latino middle school youth. The YES program is housed in, in a collaborative fashion between Cal State University Long Beach here at the center as well as at Hamilton Middle School and at the YMCA, both at the Digital Media Center as well as the, the facilities of the YMCA. So we need two people from the group to work on the movie poster, two people to work on the editing part, and two people to work on the audio. Yes. They come twice a week and they actively practice healthy lifestyles. What does that mean? It's that they go out and they do physical activity with us um, and with their mentors. And then they come and also they do academic tutoring because uh, a lot of the students are at risk um, academically and so they need those to stay in school. When we bring them to camp in the summer, they've never gone swimming, had never bowled, had never played golf, had never played tennis had never engaged in academic training such as they did at the camps. One, two. We have swimming lessons each day. And the fact that we have a lot of our young people that aren't swimmers from, from the YES program. What we see through their activity in this four week camp is that their body fat levels went from 27% to 24%, meaning that they lost 3% body fat, going from an almost unhealthy range to a healthy range. The YES program taught me how to get used to my culture for being a Salvadorian and an African-American mix. We see that when folks are in touch with who they are, they feel proud of who they are, they, they understand their rich cultural heritage, what we know is they're less likely to use drugs, they're less likely to have sex early, they're more likely to make responsible choices, they're more likely to see themselves a potential for their futures and the future of their families and their communities. Before I joined the YES program, I didn't really do good in school. I was very angry. I, I couldn't trust anybody to talk to. The mentors um, that we have are really the heart and soul of this project. Our group of kids are divided into familias, our families, and so each, each mentor really gets to know their group or their family. Along with myself, uh, we also have graduate and undergraduate mentors who spend 10 to 15 hours a week with them. Where I grew up in Carson, it's an inner city area and a lot of people from my area just don't go to college, let alone medical school. Before the YES program, I was getting F's, straight F's, and after I joined the YES program, I made honor roll. Most of their family members haven't gone to college, so for them, this is a new experience for them. So be, having these, these programs, uh, like the YES program, and showing them and bringing them to college campuses and showing them, like, you can do this too, this is not out of your reach. As long as they can relate to me, they can see, well, if she can do it, if she comes from um, this kind of area where you don't see very many people go as far, if she can do it, then, you know, the kid says, I can do it as well. The families many times have never been on a campus. And so bringing parents onto campus and helping them recognize what a university can mean and having the children experience a university time and time again, they begin to see themselves here. The YES program helped me believe in myself. The one thing I want them to get out of the program is they can go to college. They can do whatever they want to do. And you know, I'm going into medicine, so of course I would love them to go into a similar career, but as long as they're going into college and they want to do what they want to do in college and follow whatever they're passionate about, that's the ultimate goal of the program. This program is working. The students' grades are getting better. We can see that in the academic data. Um, their body mass that is going down, but I think for me the, what speaks the most is when I saw the kids at the end of camp and I went to cheer them on, they were glowing with good health. They had met kids that they never would meet before and interacted with them and formed new relationships and could just envision themselves and, and futures in college and different futures working that were never within their immediate environment. Please, thank you. I don't think I can. And this program just underscores our ability to reach out 
6th, 7th, 8th grade levels and really chart the path for these students to come to college and to, to really gain the skills that they need to lead healthy, vibrant lives that are going to contribute a great deal to the United States.